us now is a national security and anti-terrorism expert, Julia Davis. Julia, um, look, it's all great. I'm all for trying to root out any sort of terror. It's definitely very important to prevent the entry of terrorists into the United States, but we have to keep in mind that there are already terrorists here. Julia Davis is a very good employee, qualified, professional. Our port would see on average 10 to 15 people from terrorist countries coming across the U.S.-Mexico border. But on the day in question, 4th of July, I started to see one right after the other entries of people from terrorist countries. I called FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force and told them this information, and all I did was follow what we were told to do. Homeland Security said there's no credible information terrorists are operating at the border. So we went back and found government documents that contradict that. After my report, a new supervisor took it upon herself to harass me. Homeland Security was up to its old tactics. Everything was already set in place to discredit me. I later found out that they declared me to be a domestic terrorist. They could do whatever they wanted, warrantless surveillance, sneak and peek incursion, wiretap, following us by V, reading our email. They involve Brittany Murphy. She should still be here now. The husband of actress Brittany Murphy has been found dead. On August 10, 2005, Department of Homeland Security landed a Black Hawk helicopter at our home. We weren't at home, but my parents were. Julia Davis' case is unprecedented. This is a prime example of your taxpayers' dollars being misspent. I filed a case against the Department of Homeland Security. It's a case of incredible magnitude. It raises questions whether individual government officials in the future could be held liable. And I believe it'll be studied in law schools a hundred years from now. What I did, I did to protect the nation, and I would do it again. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.